Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing work to this new to me Kubota Z726XKW. Um, just picked this up. Uh, I did sell the Bobcat. Um, just figured it's time for something a little bit newer. Uh, so this unit only has 400 hours on it. Um, so I picked it up. I did notice there was a bearing gone in the center spindle. Uh, so on the design of this mower, um, it actually has a bearing on top and then one that goes underneath. Um, unfortunately, this is what was left of the original bearing. Um, <clears throat> not much, as you can tell. Uh, so sure enough, you start the PTO up, it uh, made an awful racket. Uh, but no problem. Um, already went ahead, got ourselves a new bearing. The upper bearing seemed like it was in really good shape. So I just cleaned it up really well for now. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, so I, removal was pretty easy on this unit. Uh, <clears throat> I ended up uh, taking this pulley off and that gave me complete slack on the, the entire belt. So I pulled the belt off, um, I pulled the remaining pulleys off. Then I pulled the pulley off for the spindle, um, that was just a bolt. And then uh, four bolts. Uh, once you crack them loose, the whole spindle assembly dropped out underneath. Um, <clears throat> so I got that far, and then to get the old bearing out, basically what I did was uh, I kind of pried a little bit on the edge, and it gave me a little lip to bite on. So then I just took a, <clears throat> um, a flathead screwdriver with a bent tip, and I slowly worked my way around and pounded it out. Uh, so sure enough. Uh, that's what was left. Uh, this tiny shaft, or remainder of the bearing, was stuck on the bottom of this shaft. So I just tapped that off as well. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, get a new bearing installed. <clears throat> um, so what I did is I just cleaned the grass up off the outside. Um, I took some uh, sandpaper, metallic stuff, and just kind of cleaned up any rough edges on the inside um, and clean the top up a bit as well um, while I'm doing it might as well uh, one thing I will note is to verify with your parts manual that you do this in the correct order um, <clears throat> right off the top I was just going to uh, install the bearing and then I looked at the parts manual first and this shaft has to go into the spindle first before the bearing is installed so just double check your parts manual uh, make sure you do it in the correct order. But yeah, so we'll go ahead to the vise and uh, we'll start getting this bearing installed. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna try is uh, <clears throat> just getting the spindle cleaned out as best you can. Um, getting all that dirt debris out. Um, <clears throat> cleaner the better, especially when it comes to bearings. Okay, so that's pretty dirty. I'm going to clean this uh, guide shaft up a little bit. The ends. Okay. So I'm going to be extra careful and drop this down in. So into the spindle. And I'm going to try and make sure that's centered. Get our bearing out. Everything looks pretty straightforward there. Just your run-of-the-mill bearing, but this one is specially designed for Kubota equipment. Uh, what I'm finding is most of their stuff is proprietary. There's not a lot of aftermarket support, but that's okay. So I'm just going to lightly drop that in there. Just like so. And as you can see, we have our brand new roller bearing on the inside. Um, so that's good and clean. And we have our shaft pre-installed. 
so we don't have to fight get the bearing out put the shaft back in so make sure to do it in the correct order now for the fun part um, we got the snap ring um, getting this out was a bit of fun but uh, we'll go ahead and clean this up and we'll put this back in so you'll need a pair of uh, snap ring pliers gonna grab a hold of it so I'm assuming this is going to take me several attempts because it did the first time oh, look at that went in first time around almost okay excellent <clears throat> so just want to make sure your snap ring is fully seated um, there is a groove inside that it sits in so I'm just going to verify it's in that groove it's not coming out it's not obstructing the bearing all right so um, now that our new bearings installed we can continue on to our next step okay so we're almost ready to reinstall our spindle um, now before I go ahead with that I'm just going to put this uh, protector plate back on and then we'll go ahead and we'll clean up the mating area uh, for the spindle uh, so let's go ahead um, now when I took this front plate off this was completely packed with grass uh, so this is all wiped down uh, and I took a blower to it cleaned it right up all right so continuing on I'm uh, just going to reinstall this uh, protective plate now I didn't really have to take it off, I just took it off so I had more visibility. But we'll reinstall that. So what I'm going to start with, uh, like I said, we're going to clean the mating surfaces, uh, top and bottom. I want to make sure while we're in here that we do what we can, keep everything nice and clean. So that looks pretty good. And I'm just going to go underneath through here and scrub where the bolts bolt in. I want to make sure there's no crud and debris so it bolts up nice and flush. Three. And four. So this one is a little bit different design than my last zero turn. Um, if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, uh, I used to have a bobcat. Um, and it was bolted from the top down. Now this spindle assembly is actually bolted from the bottom up and then has a nut on top. So I went ahead and uh, just uh, cleaned the threads on the spindle bolts. Um, so we've got these big ones. So to get out of this, I'm going to have to raise the deck. Get this stuff out of the way. I'm going to climb in the cabin seat. That up pretty high so we can get underneath it. So 
So we'll start with that. So the deck isn't quite high enough. So what I'm going to do, uh, just to get the spindle underneath it, I'm going to throw a jack underneath the edge of the deck. Just to give myself an extra couple inches of clearance. give myself lots of room. Um, I have jacked the deck up. Um, it's at its max. Now it's actually lifted the front of the mower up just a little bit. That's fine. So I'll take our nice spindle with our new bearing installed. Uh, that's going to go underneath. Now, start with one bolt at a time. get the nuts first. So it's a little bit awkward. Probably be best off to have this on like a lift, but uh, making do with what we got. I'm going to tack that on there so I can get the other ones on. Just snap the thread started. For the back one, really got to reach. I mean, really got to reach. This one's tough. Um, I was that full extension just to do that one, but uh, we got her. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up. I'm gonna try and do it nice and even. We'll get the appropriate socket. We got what size? So we're looking at a 17 mil.
So, I'm not a fan of how tight that is. I'm going to back it off and uh, go clean it up. Just so it threads on nice and smooth. Okay, so I had to run to the hardware store. Uh, a couple of the bolts and nuts were stripped. So I didn't want to uh, risk breaking them off. Uh, so, been to the hardware store. Uh, we got nuts and bolts. Uh, they're not exact, but uh, they're very close. So, I put the other two in. And they are completely mounted up. Um, as you can see here, these are the two new ones I just got. Uh, the two old ones, they were fine, threads were good. Um, so, as you can see, that spindle is now installed with the new bearing. Um, new bearing is on the bottom end. But, now we'll go ahead and we will install our spindle shaft. Which would be this guy. Um, so I just took a rag, made sure I cleaned it up a little bit. So we're going to go underneath, we'll slip it through the spindle, and then I'll hold it in place, slide that pulley on, a couple washers, lock washer, and a big old nut. Oh, and also this cover. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So we'll slide under. So, caught my finger a little bit on that one. Just be careful not to have your fingers in the way on the bottom of the shaft because when it slides in, it slides in good and fast. So, pulley has a little lip on the one side, so that lip is going to go down. So it's hexagonal, and that fits onto the shaft. So once you have that in place, go ahead and drop our lock washers. Caught underneath the spindle. Push it out. So one thing I noticed is uh, this spindle did have, or sorry, this pulley did have a cover. The two side ones do not. So I'm wondering, I may run this one without the cover as well. that cover off. I'm going to thread this big old nut on. Uh, washers are installed. Okay, so um, so first thing you want to do, uh, make sure that it's not binding on anything. You have nice free play. So we're going to throw that to the side. Um, like I say, the other two don't have it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, so we'll tighten this up. So 
So I'm just going to use a little DeWalt impact. Um, this one has a max torque of about 100 pounds uh, of torque. So I didn't overdo it, but made sure it was on there good and snug. So there is a brand new center spindle bearing installed. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, this particular model, like I said, is a Kubota Z726XKW. Uh, has a 60 inch deck. Uh, this is a 2017 model. But uh, yeah, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the belt installed and uh, we'll give her a test run. Uh, thanks guys, see you next time.